It's the one month anniversary today of the shooting in Parkland and 17 students were killed that day. And so we're doing this you know, in honor of them, in mourning of them, and also in transitioning that mourning into real distinct actions so that this never has to happen to anyone again. In the wake of the Parkland shooting, obviously there was great demand for a conversation about gun control, which students' voices are elevated and you know, the student perspective is, uh, is emphasized. So my club that I'm co-president of, Students for Gender Equality, and our school's Black Student Union came together and decided we wanted to organize this event. It's in concert with a national event that's a walkout for students. And um, our goal is really to elevate student voices in the conversation, to make sure that we have a say, right? These issues like gun violence affect us really deeply in our schools and our communities. And so we're gonna stand up, we're gonna have our voices heard because you know it's, this has gone on far too long. People can write letters to their Congress people, people are gonna be able to register to vote if you're a senior. Um, so hopefully it's gonna be a really big, effective event and then we'll go back to class. I think that we're really making a change, students are making sure their voices are heard and that um, you know, hopefully we can make advocacy so common sense gun control measures that have broad support among the public and among experts can be put into place and we can keep things like this from happening as much as they do. I knew that this was happening, I helped organize it. I wanted there to be a show of unity so everyone, well the idea was that a lot of people would have the same shirt, they were Orange is the national gun violence color, so we were honoring that with the orange. I sold t-shirts for three days, and I sold 192 of them, which is, I think, amazing. We raised $419 that we get to donate, and there is more money sitting in a jar of donations. We are the ones whose lives are in danger at, during these school shootings. We are the ones who will be voting in the upcoming elections. We are the ones who will be coming of age and be represented in our government in a few years and these things need to happen to make us safe and make us represented. We are part of a group called Lansing Indivisible, um, which is committed to um, to creating justice for all people. Um, and we are interested in registering any people who walk out who are 17 and a half or older. We feel like this is a really good opportunity to get people who are politically active, who are interested in changing policy and to think about what they can do. Well, I think it's it's amazing that they've organized this and that they're doing it and that they are thinking um, so about themselves as political actors, right, as people who can have a voice in the future. When we arrive at school, those around us tell us that we're safe, that school should be like a second home, and that we're one. But all of us know this cannot be true. I and my classmates cannot seem to find a reason why a teenager or anybody else needs to possess an automatic rifle. Woo! Woo! Yeah. 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 Yeah.